so we have completed the html css is all the sessions we have completed now it's time for us to move on to the next programming language so that is javascript so as you all people so all of them are aware of this javascript thing so javascript is one of the important uh, language in our web development so using the javascript we can do almost everything in the web development so we can develop the client side application we can develop the server side application we can develop a mobile application anything anything right now the using the current javascript the present trending javascript we can do any we can do anything using the javascript so javascript is one of the most popular language in all the programming languages right now what we are having if you try to see in the google trends or anywhere so javascript always remains at the top why because because of the uh, different options that how we can use it so if you know one language javascript programming language if you know one javascript language you can do applications in the web development that is client side so which is first it is intended to develop these things only to get the dynamic behavior in the web application later on it was being developed for use of usage of this mobile application development cross hybrid and then afterwards so we we are using javascript for the server side application also so just like the dot net how we will be using php dot net like that also we can use the node uh, javascript so almost everything so every type of requirement we can solve it using the javascript by by knowing one programming language so that is uh, that is more benefit right so instead of learning two or three programming languages the syntax and all those things the different behavior the structure how it is working instead of learning about the different behaviors if you learn one programming language so we can have we can use we can do client side application development we can do the mobile application development we can do the android tv application development we can do it we can do um server side programming language we can do so everything we can do it so whatever the things is there in the web application development we can do everything so that is the main thing so let's try to learn about the javascript so what does this javascript tells about let's see so any anywhere if you try to see in the w3 schools or javascript.com anywhere you will be able to see it wikipedia or anywhere so javascript programming javascript normally we call it as a scripting language so we'll say it as a scripting language so it has evolved so much in a way, way that so now we are calling it as a programming language actually it is the core technology of the world wide web <coughs> now i as i already told you right javascript is not an object oriented language so one thing you need to learn we need to understand so it is not an object oriented language but it is a prototype based object orientation okay prototype based object orientation so it's, it's something we can say it as an object based not an object oriented it behaves like an object oriented programming language but really it is not a pure object oriented programming language it is a prototype based language we'll see what is a prototype and all those things main thing javascript is an in another thing what i can say is it's an event driven language also somewhere they will be writing this one event driven imperative programming declarative these all things are okay fine i don't know where they have written event driven yeah supporting event driven it's an event driven programming language so a event will be triggered and according to that event a particular callback functions or anything will be executed it's a more on the event driven programming languages so this is one of the main advantages of this javascript event driven programming language and functional oriented so it's a functional oriented and imperative programming means we have different different types imperative and the declarative programming it's an imperative programming we can also write using the declarative programming also this is one type of design pattern what i can say is writing coding in a specific manner imperative and the declarative programming style so imperative programming style means that is a different way that is a way of writing a code so we'll for example in order to solve a problem so we can write it either in imperative programming way or a declarative programming way so that is a two different types we can write it so that doesn't come under the feature so that is a way how the software guy will be developing the code to solve a problem so th this is the main this is the main thing what i can say about the javascript so the javascript syntax and uh, this java is one and the same only the syntax and everything comes uh, looks like uh, java only so that is the reason they have named it as a javascript why because it looks like a java programming language so that is the reason they have uh, named it as javascript 
but now normally we cannot we, we will not call this one as a javascript normally we used to call this one as an ecmascript so previous days in the olden days so when this ecmascript first it was introduced as an ecmascript only but when the developers going on going on by seeing this code and all those things so they found the similarities uh, just like they found it was just like the java java programming language only so that the time java is the more uh, that is the first language and also the more uh, feature language right so they thought that this java is the javascript is also the same like java only so that is the reason they named it as javascript so going on going on going on that name was uh, that name became more familiar than the ecmascript but normally we used to call this one as an ECMAScript only. <laughs> that is the main thing. So this actual JavaScript is called as a not a JavaScript. It's, a, it's an ECMAScript. That is the main thing. Right now the stable release going on is the ECMAScript 2021. So this year on we will be going on. Stable release is the ECMAScript 2021. Okay, June 2021 it was released. Preview release. So the next release was ECMA, no, ECMAScript 2022. With the year name it will going on. It will be going. That is the main thing. So this is the main thing about the JavaScript introduction. If I want to tell about the JavaScript introduction means the one thing what you can do is. So it is the most uh, popular programming language going on rapid development and also the rapid features we are able to get it uh, than, idea, than any other programming languages. So we can develop wide variety of applications using this uh, JavaScript. If you know the JavaScript language once so you can develop the server side programming languages you can develop and you can develop this client side which browser supports at the first time so which browser supports the first one that one only and afterwards we can also develop the mobile native applications also not native applications hybrid applications we call it as a hybrid application so first actually uh, javascript and all those things was developed using in the netscape okay so this one microsoft has acquired it this all went on that the, the lay, lay, several stages has went on so right now this javascript and all those things are on one on one what i can say is on one node.js javascript is on one organization i didn't remember that organization exactly so you can able to see ecmascript i don't know what is this, uh, way somewhere you'll be able to have so these all went on one so this maturity so here in 2009 when node.js came so we are able to develop the uh, server side programming language also trademark of oracle and website client somewhere they have been using i don't know where they have used it <clears throat> some name will be there actually i didn't remember that one so it comes under one organization node.js these all comes under one organization so they will be releasing the all the updates okay fine so now here we have seen it right so these are all the cross platform uh, program these are the cross platform applications which we can develop the mobile application electron cordova these are all older ones react native and other application frameworks are also there so these are the more popular one electron is uh, microsoft one cordova is then apaches and react native is facebook's one so these are all different ways different competitors are there in which we can use the uh, mobile uh, mobile hybrid applications using this one react native so uh, not only this one we can develop the, these web applications also using uh, angular react these all things also we can develop it <coughs> one thing what i want to tell you is so how the browser executes this one how the browser executes the javascript so now we have different types of browsers involved in our uh, uh, in our market so one we the most famous one is the chrome the another one what i can say is the we will be having uh, my uh, internet explorer i can say safari another one is firefox so remaining are also there so these are all also there so now the javascript so the javascript programming language so the compiler of this javascript programming language okay so they will be having so i told you right one organization is there i will tell you about that organization uh, one uh, uh, that organization set up the rules and regulations of this one okay so set up the rules and regulation of this one and I think this one only I think my script international dot org something they have really given it so they have set some rules and regulations standards and all those things using that rules and regulations standards and all those things so they need to develop a compiler so that that compiler will execute the javascript programming language now each bro each browser has its own compilers okay for executing the javascript for example when you write the javascript coding and you want to execute in the chrome browser 
in the chrome browser you have a another compiler so another compiler which executes the javascript when you want to execute in the firefox you have an another compiler when you want to execute in the internet explorer we have another compiler so like this we have different types of compilers so the name of these compilers also we know about those compilers you have heard about this one so v8 is the compiler which was used by the uh, this is a javascript engine we used to call it as an engine not a compiler so normally we used to call it as an engine so this is a v8 is the engine used by the chrome so this one is the engine so this is the compiler if you try to click on this javascript engine you will get so many engines spider monkey is the engine which was developed which was developed by the mozilla and the firefox uses this spider monkey engine only so that means engine means nothing but a compiler which executes the javascript and javascript core is the apple's safari browsers engine and chakra is the internet explorer's thing okay so now the edge edge uses the v8 chrome engine only so like this james Webb telescope these are things also have different uh, they also uses the javascript engine so these are the different types of compilers which uh, so if you click on this ecmascript engines you will be able to get so many engines these are all the different types of compilers which we have to execute the javascript so all does the same thing only okay all does the same thing only but they are different different companies they have developed their own way of execution out of these all which one is the be best compiler means google is the best one okay v8 v8 chrome engine is the best one it it takes less time to compile the javascript and use the uh, to give the output so remaining all are uh, having their own uh, disadvantages because of that reason v8 chrome is the best one it will execute very fast and it will give you the it will it will it will be good very what and the performance is also very good in this v8 uh, v8 google chrome engine javascript engine remaining all are okay fine but there's one right mozilla's one is the spider monkey is their own one they will use the firefox so firefox will use the spider monkey only chakra is their internet explorer's own one they will use this chakra only but the uh, edge browser they used this v8 chrome engine why because v8 is a open source free and open source anybody can use this javascript engine so this is the main uh, history of this javascript so using the javascript so that is the main advantages so this is the main thing <clears throat> So let's go on to the so these are all the different things v8 engine so this javascript engine used by these all different softwares the couch base couch base is the no sql database actually and chrome is the web browser which we are which we are using right now and brave brave also one of the browsers so it is an wrapper of the chrome only opera these are all the things uses the v8 runtime engine only couch base is a database no sql database dino is a server side programming language so this is a application desktop applications if you want to develop a desktop applications you can use this electron so these are all different types of these things are there so these all uses the v8 chrome engine <clears throat> now let's go on how to write the javascript code so let's see so in order to write the javascript code i will try to show you you already people know about this one all how to write the javascript code let's see how we can write it the different ways so now we have the javascript right here and this is the console and this is our javascript so we can write the javascript in two ways are you able to see my screen clearly yes so now <clears throat> If I write here the script, so JavaScript code will be written in between the closing and opening and the closing script tag. So this is the script. And now here I can write console.log. So this is just for printing. Just how you will use in other programming language, printf or something like that, echo. Like this, we will be using console.log here. So if I try to use hello world, now we will be able to see the output. What is this error it is telling? HTML script. I have written correctly only, right? Yeah. So this is the hello world. We are able to see the output. So this is one way. If you open the Visual Studio Code, I will try to show you Visual Studio Code. Yeah. If you take, if you if you try to take this one, index.html. One second, let me decrease the file font size. 
yeah if i want to write here so here in between the head so closing and the head head in between this one i am writing a script element here also i can write the script and here i will be writing <coughs> console.log so this is where you will be writing so like this you can write it so now if i try to see the output for this one open with live server okay this is still initializing it so we will be able to see the console output in the console i will try to show you where we can see that console thing let it execute so now not only the script tag not only here we can also write anywhere we can want it so now here i can remove the script i can write in between this at the end of the body also i can write so here i can write so this is our opening and due element now it is opening what this will click here something like that here. okay no no anyway not bother so now we have seen this console.log right here how we can see it is in the inspect element so at the bottom you will be having an inspect element and here you will be able to see the console in this console here i am able to see the hello world whatever the consoles you are trying to print here we are able to see it these are all the consoles so like this we can able to see it so the same scenario here in this output we are seeing now wherever uh, anywhere you can write the script code okay anywhere so here you can write it or here you can write it anywhere you want you can write it it's not a problem so at the body we will write we will write, we'll be writing it here so another way so what is the best way which we'll discuss so another way of how we can write this one script is this is one thing which you can use it as an internal like this so you can write it like this another way is you can create a main.js file okay i can do the console.log high here there is no need for us if you mention this one as main.js means there is no need for us to write script again script and opening close tags there is no need so why because this is already with a .js extension so there is no need directly you can write the javascript code here so i can write console.log hello world okay so we have mentioned it as a hello world and here now what you need to do is so i need to remove this one all and here we need to mention the source so src is equal to the path where is the path of this one so i can say that main.js so i can mention it like this we should not close this one like this so this is we should not close it like this we should close it with the script tag like this one only okay so the whole representation we need to use if you may if you close it like that we, we cannot able to see the output i will show you that one also so now we are able to see the hello world now this one is coming from the yeah, this one is leaving so this one is coming from the console.log here if i try to write something like hello world one i think you'll be able to see the output see here we are able to see the output so now another one is what i told you so we should not auto close the element so if i auto close this element now if i try to see the output okay now well, then also i'm able to see but in the browsers we are not able we will, some browsers will not able to see the chrome is smart enough to understand these all things but in the some browsers we will not able to understand this one so we should close it like this only okay and another one is so whatever the thing you write in between this one so these things will not work if you mention the source at the type and the at the top so if i write right like this i never use these type of things but we'll see so now i have mentioned the source i am telling that javascript whatever the javascript present in the main.js execute this one we are saying but i am still writing the old version something like in between whatever the lines the program we are writing in between this opening and closing script tags what i want to execute which one will execute we'll see higher hello world it will come let's see i think you hello world one only it will come why because we have mentioned the source so here we are getting hello world one only we'll try to remove this pressure log yeah if i try to refresh this one hello world one only is executing so that means when you mention the source for this one script tag the code which is present in between this opening and the script tag it will not execute so if you don't mention the script uh, source means it will execute so that is one thing so now we have understood this one 
okay we have understood this one so now what i want to tell you is about another one about the another one how the execution will go on so that is one of the main important thing so now we have understood how we can how in how many different ways we can write the javascript program we have seen it now let's try to see how the execution will go on for example let's say that javascript the html css this file execution will go in a such a way that whenever we are loading a page in the browser okay i am loading a page in uh, page in this browser first the compiler the browser engine so whatever it may be the compiler or in engine or anything the browser will start to start to render from starting onwards doc type html okay it understands that this is this is a html file so it will go on execute this html elements it will go on execute these all html elements now immediately it saws the it sees this um, script file now when it saw the script file what it will try to do so this is the main.js file now immediately it will try to download this main.js file okay it will download the main.js file the downloading of the main.js file will take some time so it will wait it will wait until the download is completed okay so when the download is completed and it will execute the script okay so downloading is not enough right so we need to compile that javascript it will execute the javascript uh, javascript code and it will execute the javascript code and it will try to show the output in the javascript and after completion of this one then it will move on to the next line it will move on to the next line it will move on to the next line like this it will go on until the last one so that means implementing the script file at the top so when you are trying to implement some multiple script files here so that means it will go on here and it will try to execute this one so this one execute means it is nothing but downloading and executing okay so two things will happen here and this one also downloading and executing so these all the things will happen and after executing downloading and all those things then afterwards it will go to the body so for this then what happens is if the user is having a small internet very less so he will feel some network latency or something like he will feel he will take it will take some time to render the page okay he will not able to see this button until and unless that main.js is loaded so right now we have only small file so here you'll be able to see these are the files these are getting loaded actually okay main.js file is getting loaded so now what is happening here so it will take so much of time for us to show the output if, if these files are js files are very big enough so that means the browse uh, the user will feel somewhat uncomfortable un why because he cannot able to see the output for some couple of seconds so if your javascript file is very big and its execution is taking so much of time so for this reason what the people will try to say is so try to mention it at the bottom of the before closing of the body okay so here they will try to mention it so now what will happen so all the time if you try to see any programming languages the the script files will be mentioned at the bottom so what is the reason is now the browser will come here at the top it will go on execute and it will render the button and it will render the styles and all those things also it will render the button and all those things then afterwards skips download will take care by the time the page and everything is got uh, rendered already by the browser now the script download will execution and all, all the things will take care so that is one that is one thing that is one benefit and also another benefit is for example in this main.js i want to use some button okay here i want to use document so these are things we'll discuss document dot get elements by tag name oh, sorry get elements by tag name so here i want to take get elements by tag name of button so i want to catch this button so i want to console this button so i want to console this button so right now i will get my button why because in the console let's try to see so i am able to get this button why because this button is already present in the document for example let's say that i am using this script and i am placing at the top so now the execution what will happen here the document and all those things executes and here the download the script will be downloaded and it execute when it executes now it wants a button document dot get elements by tag name of button it needs a button but by the time the button is not yet rendered it is below the javascript file now what will happen here i am able to get an empty actually the button is present but here i am not getting any button here empty array i am getting an empty array for example if i mention this one at the bottom okay if i mention this one at the bottom now you will be able to get a button here see the one button element is there 
if you want you can also see by the dot length so now i will get one as an output so that means one button is left one button is there if i want to show you by skip placing the script at the top means then i will get zero why because by the time button is not yet rendered so we are able to see it as zero so that means i am not the javascript not able to catch this button which is already present so the this is also one of the reason so why the people will say that not to load the script at the top of the html one main thing is this so we can overcome this behavior so my men by mentioning this one at the top and and also we can catch this button that is not a problem but the main scenario is it will block it will block the page to render why because here the script is getting downloaded and it is trying to execute it that is the reason only the button it is not able to find the button why because the button is not it rendered here top down bottom approach the execution so that is one thing so that is that is the main thing actually it will happen so another thing what i want to explain you is <clears throat> about the async and the differ okay async and the differ concept so what is this async and the differ concept let's try to learn it <clears throat> 